Thank you very much. That was wonderful. Um, our next panel is the, if we get our speakers come up, please, um, is the Culture, Diversity, and Role of Community panel itself. And we have four uh, speakers with us today. And um, as they get settled in, I'm going to do a very brief introduction um, of them, and then their detailed bios are in your binder. Um, Our first speaker is Dr. Charles Mutang, a good friend. He's a senior vice president of health affairs and dean of school of medicine at the Mayhari Medical College in Nashville. Dr. Mutang's major areas research in the elder mistreatment, violence against older women, health promotion, disease prevention, minority elders, ethnicity, aging, and quality of health care of minorities. And then next speaker is Dr. Jervis. He's associate professor of University of Oklahoma, Department of Anthropology, and a director of Center on Applied Social Research a culture and medical anthropologist as well as gerontologist. Her work focuses on the intersection of culture, aging, and health. Dr. Jervis conducted uh, um, NIH funded research on American Indians, mental, cognitive health, trauma, and violence. And next is Ms. Um, Yixing Chang. She's a research manager at the Chinese American Service League. She's represents, she played many roles. Um, today she will represent the voice of the community. This is the Chinese community. Uh, for those who may not know, the Chinese American Service League is the largest social services organization in the Midwest, serving of the needs of Chinese older adults. They serve 32,000 Chinese seniors um, in the Midwest, and their network of a national uh, coalition called CISANI. CISANI is a major Chinese uh, cities and social services organization connected together in terms of serving the needs of the Chinese population in, around the world. Um, she's a project coordinator for the Pine Study, the report that you see out there. And um, their next speaker is uh, Javier Vasquez. For more than 15 years, he has practiced international human rights law with particular emphasis on reproductive rights, rights of indigent people, disability rights, as well as the human rights of older persons, and amongst others. Currently, he serves as a human rights law advisor with the Pan American Health Organization, uh, known as PAHO, or, and as well as the World Health Organization. So without further ado, Dr. Mutan, please. <laughs> 